What's up everybody and welcome back to another Rocket League video. Today we're going to be going through all of the Rocket League seasons and trying to find the peak of Rocket League. To find this, I'm going to be looking at three different categories. The first category being player count, the second category being new features, and the third category being competitive and esports. So I'm going to be going through every single year of Rocket League and giving them a rating out of 10 for each of these categories and that will decide which was the peak of Rocket League. If you guys enjoyed the video, please do like and subscribe. Uh, it really helps me out, lets me make more videos like this. But uh, yeah, let's get right into it, guys. So starting out in 2015, not a lot really happened in Rocket League. The game was released in July 2015 for PC and PS4. Not for Xbox yet, that will come on later. But... For this year, we had Ranked Season 1 coming out. We had Mutator Mashup and Custom Mutators added to private matches. Uh, we had Snow Day added in December, but I mean, that's about it for this year. Rocket League had a player base of about 30,000 people at September of this year, 2015, which is what I'm going to be going off of for all of these years. Uh, just the player base at the start of the year in September. But uh, yeah, just a couple new updates, gonna score a 3 out of 10, the player base is also gonna score a 3 out of 10, and there was no competitive play or LCS this year, so overall 2015 is gonna score a 6 out of 30 on the scale. Moving on to 2016, the year started off with Rocket League being launched onto the Xbox One, as well as the new Rocket Labs game mode being added. In April of 2016, Rocket League also added hoops to the game. And then in May of 2016, the first RLCS took place. Uh, this one, it was a little bit boring, but it was a very new thing, and it was very great for the time. But looking back, it is a little bit boring. And then in June in 2016, the Neo Tokyo Arena was added, which may seem like kind of a useless update or something, but this was a very, very important update, as it ended up adding the Flip Reset, which is one of the most famous mechanics in Rocket League, still to this day. September of 2016, Rumble and Player Trading were both added, and in December of 2016, Custom Training Packs as well as the Steam Workshop for PC was added. In 2016, Rocket League had almost 80,000 active players and had almost doubled its statistics from the year before, giving the player count for 2016 a 7.5 out of 10 on the scale. For new updates, I'll be giving it a 6 out of 10. There were quite a few new updates, not many massive ones like gameplay changes, but they added a couple new mechanics and a couple new important modes. And for the competitive scene, I'll be giving it a 5.5 out of 10. We had RLCS this year. It wasn't a super big thing, like it'll get bigger in the future, but we did have RLCS. So overall, I'll be giving the year 2016 a 19 out of 30 on the point scale. Moving on to 2017, Rocket League had a small regression in the player count, bumping down to just about 70,000. For updates, immediately we had Drop Shot added in March of 2017. We had standardized maps and transparent goalposts added in August of 2017. Just some small quality of life changes. 2017 of November, we had the Nintendo Switch launch, which does make a small difference. Just a little bit more players in there. And that is all for the updates we had for 2017, really an uneventful year for updates, but it does make up for it in other ways. So in 2017, we had Northern Gaming and Gale Force Esports winning the RLCS, Season 3 and Season 4. Northern Gaming won Season 3, and Gale Force won Season 4. Fun fact, Gale Force did sweep the RLCS final, pretty impressive. Uh, this was slightly better than the year before Season 1 and Season 2, but... Um, again, not super amazing. RLCS really does start to level up when we get to these next couple years. So I'm going to be giving the player count a 6 out of 10. I'm going to be giving the new updates a 4 out of 10. And I'm going to be giving the RLCS a 7 out of 10. So 2017 is going to end up with a score of 17 out of 30. So for 2018, Rocket League gained around 5,000 active players. So moving up to 75,000 active players. For new updates, we had player-created tournaments being added to the game, April 2018, and August 2018, we had player clubs being added to the game. September 2018, we had ranked extra modes, so like uh, Rumble and Snow Day, all of that was ranked before they changed that again. Uh, September of 2018, also we had the Rocket Pass 1, but that was it for updates for 2018. Moving on to RLCS, we had one of the greatest seasons of RLCS ever, or mainly just the final. It was also a great all-around season, but... 
the finals we had Dignitas versus Energy. It's on the screen right now. You can see it. We had the amazing Justin zero second goal, probably my favorite moment in Rocket League ever. And uh, yeah, for season six we had Cloud Nine taking down Dignitas, the team who had won it before. It was overall uh, a great two seasons of ROCS. It was great. Probably my favorite. I'm going to be giving it a 10 out of 10 on the scale. For the player count, we're going to be bumping it up just a little bit from last year, up to a 7 from 6. And for new updates, I'm going to be giving it a 3 out of 10. There weren't too many. couple impactful ones like the first Rocket Pass, but, you know, not much. So overall, 2018 is going to be earning a 20 out of 30, the highest ranking so far. Moving on to 2019, we had some very big updates, but the player count did drop in September down to 60,000, so around a 15,000 active player loss from the year before. So for updates in 2019, we had full cross-platform in January 2019, very big update. In April 2019, we had the eSports shop as well as Replay FX, a pretty important feature in the game, pretty nice feature. But probably the biggest announcement in Rocket League history, the company who makes Rocket League, Psyonix, was bought by Epic Games in uh, 2019. Later on in 2019, in October, the party up button was added, the item shop was added, and uh, yeah, that was it for 2019. Moving on to ROCS, we had Vitality beating G2 in Season 7 of ROCS. In uh, Season 8, we had Energy coming out on top versus Vitality, and that was the last ROCS played uh, because of the COVID. So I'm going to be giving the year of 2019 a 5 out of 10 on the player count. I'm going to be giving a 6.5 out of 10 on the new features, and I'm going to be giving it a 7 out of 10 on ROCS. Actually, I'll, go, I'll upgrade it to an 8 out of 10. I really like the uh, Energy final. It was a great game, so I'll give it an 8. So overall, that is going to come out to a 19.5 out of 30. Now moving on to 2020, we had the active players almost tripling, uh, mainly because of Rocket League becoming free to play, which is probably the biggest announcement of this year. Uh, I guess I'll just spoil that for you, but yeah, almost 150,000 active players this year. In play updates, we had Heatseeker being added, we had the little modes of May thing, I don't know if you, it's kind of hard to explain, basically just added a new mode in, in the middle of May, pretty self-explanatory. July 2020, we had the free to play announcement. September of 2020, we had free-to-play live, we had the X-Platform progress, we had tournament mode, like the uh, the tournaments you now know, and we had the Merc hitbox, and that was about it for 2020. So I'm going to be giving the player count a 10 out of 10 rating, as it was the highest we've ever seen with Rocket League, uh, given there's free-to-play, but uh, for the new updates, I'm going to be giving them a 7 out of 10, and then for competitive play RLCS, I have to give it a 0 because there was no RLCS. Uh, yeah. So 2020 will get a 17 out of 10 total. So based on these scores, it is going to be a little weird just based on how I ranked it so limitedly. Obviously, 2020 would probably win overall if I didn't have the competitive play aspect in there, but it kind of does balance it out. This is where I'm going to be stopping the video. If you guys want a, a second part with the newer seasons in it, I just figured I might as well save myself and you guys the time of making this 15 minutes long because, to be frank with you, there's been literally no updates in the last three years like small little things for example 2020 when we had the the uh gridiron event gridiron whatever it was called you guys probably remember that but that was one of the last i mean events we had so there's basically nothing to cover rlcs has kind of taken a hit i do apologize to any of you who were looking for a video going up to right now but honestly there's just not enough to cover to get it through they'd all score about maybe 10 15 just player base everything is super low right now so according to these categories, uh, 2018 was the peak year of Rocket League. Uh, just looking through all of them, there were a couple that were very close, but 2018, according to this, was the best year of Rocket League with 20 out of 30. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. This video was a little bit rushed, but I just wanted to get something out. So yeah, thank you guys, like and subscribe, and bye.